We've heard enough alarms. The time has come to move our base of operations to Lorimar. Why go to Lorimar when nothing can reach us here? The guards will handle whatever intruders at the door. Your guards couldn't handle an Ortolan in a shock collar. Ah, scurry before I meet dosium. Moflaska ki kafi mamogur tu flator. I don't know who you think you are, but you made a bad mistake opening this door. Esa silgo terbena serzet lakata. I offer refuge for anyone who leaves the White Moor now. All others will die. What, no one? I'll accept. This isn't going to end well. Don't be naive! It's a trick! Naive is following you and thinking we're going to defeat the Empire. So be it, traitor. I was successful. I met stiff opposition, but I softened it up. I wouldn't have wanted to see what they'd do to me once I contacted Korriban and told them I got a Sith Lord killed. So the White Maw finally falls. I wonder, was this the nerve center of their operation, or are their valuables hidden elsewhere? I found a place called Lorimar in their databanks. It's likely their stash is there. Lorimar. I wonder if that has to do with the inventor, Lorimar. He was quite a droid maker before he vanished a decade or so back. We should probably send a salvage team to investigate, but seeing as you trusted me with this information, I think I'll mark the area as unsecured until you're finished with it. That way the reclamation service doesn't get first crack. That's kind of you. Don't mention it. Especially not where internal security might be listening. Thank you. I doubt I could have trusted someone else to bring this operation to a close. Resource Recovery Machine 5. I will not allow you to open the cases. Do you understand? Droids pose no challenge to me. That statement has a high probability of being inaccurate. Neutralization mode engaged. This is the last moment of your life. It's my kill. I never shy away from a fight. Uh -huh. 
Come on, just let the thing kill the other thing and join our group. I'll take you on, but the blubbering must cease. Finished business of my own. Maybe you can help me bone up on my talsy, huh, Brunmark? <laughs> Eyes are still adjusting, but I have no trouble recognizing you, Brave Zerander. The sight warms me. Master Wyatt, your ordeal has ended. I only wish I'd heard you reaching out to me sooner. Do not denigrate yourself. It took great concentration to summon you. All these many years, entombed in this rubble. I have fed off the Force, and have great insights to impart. This should be good. I can't wait to hear it. What's this? I sense a presence. Barris. Indeed. This is Darth Barriss' apprentice, come to stop me from returning you to your command. Conserve your strength, Master. My men and I will dispatch this interloper. It's useless to defy me. Strong words from someone so drastically outnumbered. I see you've managed to tame that sadistic Tulls. It won't help you. To arms, men! Protect Master the Wyatt at all costs! My strength returned before this moment. I would have kept Zerinder from engaging you. Now he is down, and your fight has made this chamber unstable. It is nearing an inevitable collapse. You've proven your superiority. Let me bargain for Zerinder's life. 
talk, but make it fast. This fight was unnecessary. I have no intention of returning to fight for the Republic. Derander is young and driven, yet he has only begun to grasp the ways of the Force. In truth, I was the same until being buried on Hoth. Here I communed with the Force, to the exclusion of all else. This means nothing to me. I should mean nothing to you as well, then. The Force is with me. Greater than ever now. I suspect that I could defeat you quite handily. But I'm no longer concerned with the tidings of this galaxy, or these times. I only seek to continue my transcendence. If that's true, why did you summon Zerinder here? I wanted to share my revelations and bring him to the same understanding. This excavation site is nearing collapse. Should we battle, we would both be crushed. Allow Zarender and me to be buried here for eternity. Your objective will be met. Our lives will be richer. Finding oneness with the Force. I like the sound of that. Then save yourself and leave this place before the ceiling crashes down. I will protect Zarender and prepare myself for the collapse. You have my gratitude, Sith. A precise lightsaber sweep as you exit will cause the cave-in. Captain Kanan, I recovered these supplies from the ship graveyard. I've been told you need them. Finally. Been weeks without working equipment. Now if we could only get a decent meal. I'd shake your hand, but I'm sick as a dog. The cold may freeze mucus, but it sure doesn't kill germs. Hoth's a little warmer, thanks to you. I went to the pirate's hideout. I found this neural chipset for a battle droid. I think Lorimar designed it. Well, the stamp seems consistent with his work. Wait, it's brilliant. He solved the traditional limitations of a chipset brain. Hold on a moment, I need to make a call. Admiral, we've recovered a battle droid neural chipset from the White Moor. It's the advancement we've been waiting for. From the White Moor? What are they doing with tech like that? They had it hidden in the last known location of the inventor Lorimar. Lorimar? That would make sense. His robotics always were top-notch. It's a quad-photonic neural chipset, Admiral. If you put this in a battle droid, it'll think on its feet better than most humans. It could change the course of the war. Don't let me stall you. Get that chipset to the technicians. It will be done immediately. I'll alert the reclamation service to the Lorimar area. There's no telling what else might be there. As for you, I think a well earned vacation. Somewhere warm. Apprentice, you are looking at a very pleased man. Admiral Monk destroyed. The War Trust, no more. Now, with Jedi Zerinder and Master Wyatt neutralized, all of the Republic's most vaunted leaders are no more. Plan Zero is complete. Spread the word of my success. It only matters that I know and acknowledge your accomplishments. There is more to discuss, much of it of a sensitive nature which I do not wish to convey via hollow. Return to my chambers here on Drummond Kass immediately. I'm back, Master. There is no time to waste, Apprentice. Listen up. Plan Zero was always my desire. I've been whispering in my master Darth Vengeance ear for years. Inciting full-scale war was but one goal. The other was the downfall of Darth Vengeance, so that I may ascend to his seat. That is what I thought. Then we are in sync. The Council doesn't appreciate being undermined. They're all but calling for Vengeance's head. A strike against him now would be met with universal support. 
How would you like to face off against one of the 12 most powerful Sith in the galaxy? What's in it for me? As I move up, you move with me. And the rewards increase at every step. There's another wrinkle. Darth Vengeance's apprentice, Lord Drog, has been secretly working for me, which Vengeance discovered before I could recall him. Vengeance's rage is growing. You must free Drog and face Darth Vengeance together. I can handle Vengeance myself. I applaud your confidence, apprentice, but you will need Drog to even forge access to Vengeance. Drog knows Vengeance's weaknesses and how to breach his inner sanctum. Administer this resuscitation drug to Drog. It will restore his strength. It will take both of you to overcome Vengeance. So free the apprentice and destroy the master. Be off. Lord Drog, Barris sent me. I'm administering a resuscitation stimulant. I, uh, I'm grateful. To you and to Barris. I look forward to serving him directly once Darth Vengen has been destroyed. We have been ordered to do just that. Then we'd better begin. Vengen grows more powerful every moment. He's in his inner sanctum, communing with the dark side, channeling his rage and power. We have to confront Darth Vengen there, but it won't be easy to access. It wouldn't be fun unless it was difficult. Eris told me you were spirited. Nice to see you come as build. Three outer rings of this compound must be breached before we can reach the inner sanctum. Then a key is needed to enter. It's Darth Vengin's personal key, but I made a copy and hid it. I'll retrieve the key while you break through the outer rings. Then I'll meet you at the gates to Vengin's inner sanctum. You run the gauntlet of Darth Vengin's security. I swear to you, I'll do whatever it takes to deliver the key. You'll see. We'll make a great team. You're every bit as proficient as Barris said. I don't like false praise, Drog. Then believe that it's sincere. I almost didn't make it. There were traps in the passages. I got the key, but Darth Vengin probably knows we're coming. I don't care. Use the key and let's get inside. As you say. If I should fall, I want you to know it was an honor to fight and die alongside you. Ah! Oh, the apprentices of Darth Berus. Drag, I will enjoy bleeding you anew. And you. Before you arrived, Barris was but a bit player. He would be nowhere without you. That assessment is where our common ground ends, Vengeance. Your talents are wasted on that man. It sickens me. Your master doesn't deserve you. He's a coward, pushing buttons from the darkness. You and I are people of action. Your status as a man of action is about to end. You've been outplayed, Vengin. Darth Barris has shown the galaxy that your wits are dull and your reach is short. Enough! I will not be insulted nor patronized. Beg me. Beg me for mercy and I will kill you quickly. There will be no begging. You both die now!
For years, I've dreamed of vanquishing Darth Vengeance. Glad to have had a hand in it. He fought hard and well. I didn't even break a sweat. You were remarkable. I have no delusions I would have survived this battle if it wasn't for you. This is your victory. You, Barris, and I will be unstoppable. Someday, this will be our fate. I predict that day won't come for a very long time. There are things I must clean up here for Barris. I will meet you back at his chambers. Look upon me, apprentice. You have never seen me so pleased. And look around these chambers one last time. The humble trappings of yesterday. With our dismantling of Darth Vengeance complete, I assume his seat on the Dark Council and return to Korriban. It was my efforts that accomplished this. The seeds were sown long before your arrival. But I do acknowledge your essential role in the endgame. We ascend together, Apprentice. Only our combined strengths can propel us to the height of power. Ah, the third side of this triumvirate arrives. Lord Drog, welcome home. It's been a long time, Master. I'm ready to join the front line. I won't need your help on the battlefield. Don't worry. I know you are at your best when given free range. Now that I'm on the Dark Council, we are perfectly positioned to bring the Republic to its knees, to shape the galaxy as we wish. Go and enjoy this victory, my apprentices, but be ready for my call. I will not sit idle long. Apprentice, it is customary to bow when in the presence of a member of the Dark Council. Don't hold your breath. I will tolerate such obstinacy in private, young one. Bow to me while in the presence of outsiders, or you will be punished severely. Am I understood? I will bow if and when I am so inclined. Such posturing is petty. Why must you task me? This is a time of greatness for us, Apprentice. We are at war. The Dark Council has placed me in charge, and battles are being waged across the galaxy. You and Lord Drog will oversee the most crucial confrontations. Drog is already deployed, and now I shall unleash you. I am not a dog, Barris. Since when have you been so sensitive? I do not care for it. We've caught wind of a secret plot that threatens to undermine the advantage you helped deliver on the planet Quesh. The conflict for resources on Quesh remains the most important of the French systems. This Republic plot must not succeed. Give me the details of this plot. Commander Olian will brief you. He awaits your arrival at the Forward Command Center on Quesh. I find myself nostalgic, sending my most prized apprentice off to war. This is the culmination of everything we've done. Save the sentimentality, Master. You are quite right. All we have done and will do is simply the necessary means to the desired end. I bid you farewell, 